two hearts, a forbidden love, one life, one dream, a voyage to a new land across the sea. Hi everyone, so great to see you guys. Thank you for all the amazing comments, wow. So great to see you and thanks for coming on to Marie Mondays and oh, my hair is a bit, a bit messed up there. So this is highlighted moments from Maraid Mondays called Maraid Monday Moments and it's great to see you all guys. Lots of people coming back and it's really nice to see you all and here really it's just to start off the week you know hope you're all having a good Monday and this week's highlighted chat of course is with my pal Chloe Agnew amazing artist and she's touring currently with the amazing super group Celtic Woman and they're doing the postcards from Ireland tour, which is fabulous. And so check out their dates on CelticWoman.com and also on ChloeAgnew.com. She has all uh, her new projects on there and she is doing some great music as well with Brian McGrain, another pal of mine. So they have new music out. So check that out on their Instagram. And, you know, how are things going, everyone? How's your week going? I hope you're having a great week. And I just want to just go in really to our chat with Chloe. And it was just great to talk to her. This was at a time, of course, during, during the pandemic. And, you know, it was great that Maraid Mondays uplifted a lot of people. And I'm so grateful for that, that everybody tuned in. And I'm you know, honored to be able to uplift people around the world. And it's great because I get to tell you what I'm doing at the moment as well. Of course, I've you've just heard and seen Celtic Spells, our promo video. So that's coming out in 2023, the full show. And also really great news. The album is almost finished. We're in the mixing stages and mastering stages. And this album will be literally out for the summer. So you'll be able to dance your way through the summer to Celtic Spells. So keep an eye on all your streaming platforms for that. I'm so excited. I love the music. We worked so, so very hard on it. And we wanted to bring Irish music to the fore, uh, the, the tradition really, and also some original numbers as well, and some favorites that you'll know and love as well. So 
that is just going to be so exciting so keep an eye out for the new album celtic spells coming out soon and that's my phone <laughs> so i just want to hop in here everyone and go on to the interview and chat with chloe i hope you all enjoy it, everyone here we go doing that on tour together oh my you know. goodness what a salute i always it was early on in the show too i think it was like song three or four and i just loved it every night it always set up a real special atmosphere and an energy you know really beautiful so thank you for sharing that it was good to see you again oh gorgeous and chloe look do you remember this photo this is from I Capital know. records i know i was only going through a load of old photos recently and found that shot of the two of us do you remember that day that was such an amazing day wasn't such it such an amazing day yeah. i think it was celebrating this album decade um, right. and a few yeah. a few other albums yeah. as well i mean yeah. and here we are at the 15th anniversary celebration album as well yeah. and you know you're, you're going to be busy because you're going to be touring with Celtic Woman next year oh and also you'll be doing your yeah. solo stuff and it's I going know. to be a, an interesting balance yeah well I mean look it's a crazy time in life right now I would be lying if I said I'm, I'm not anxious and nervous yeah. and, and scared like all of us about yeah. the way things are and the way the industry is it's very hard to know when all these shows will go ahead and when people will, will want to come back out again but look i have i have faith that 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 please god you know that this show is so very special i have to say i only got 12 shows into i think what was supposed to be about 85 with them um but those 12 shows were some of the best times i had and it was really interesting for me because i there was a huge part of me that was nervous going back in because, you know, I always say that when you look at life in chapters, sometimes you close them and, you know, go back and reread them, you know. But I did feel I was 15 when I started with the show. This was this 15 year anniversary. There was something about full circle about coming home to, to where it kind of all began for me. And coming back at the show every night, uh, it, it was a, such a a strange feeling because so much of it felt like no time had passed. And then so much of it had felt like, it was all new again, you know, but there were some of the best shows. I had such a great time. So I have faith that it is meant to be seen by people. So yeah. fingers crossed that the dates are already in the diary for next year. And look, fingers crossed, we'll, we'll get back out and see people in no time. And that's yes. And in between, hopefully get some recording done and, and hopefully get back out and start doing some of my own shows. And we'll see. We'll see what happens next. Absolutely. But. Oh, my gosh, Chloe. And I just want to show everybody your artwork for your beautiful yeah. Please. album reimagined and it's on all platforms and it's so stunning so Thanks so great. stunning and Thanks. i'm, I'm, very I'm proud just, of wow so so proud to know you and you're so inspiring you work so hard you're an amazing talent and it's it's um you're an amazing Lovely. friend Lovely lady likewise thank you so much wow and i just want to say huge thanks for coming on today because i know you're busy and it's huge huge it's thanks so for exciting i was like i would be so insulted if you didn't ask me to do this <laughs> <laughs> i'm like i'm so thankful that i made the cut I'm on the list. <laughs> So much fun with Chloe, and I have more from Chloe later. My goodness, I we just we just pick up where we leave off, you know, and it's just so great to chat with her. And I have some more um, of that chat coming up soon. And I just want to obviously I do a product highlight uh, every week, but here's a few products. Here's um, a series of videos of my fiddles from my website. I hope you like this. Um, it's um this was shot in in cold scenes in new york and um the and connelly music as well so they're my partners in my violin line my celtic uh violin collection and i'd love you to if you have time go to maraidnesbit.com and have a look at everything there it's such a fun site and of course the mother's day usa is coming up so that's May 8th. So I have cameos as well. So have a look at those because I am recording my Mother's Day cameos at the moment and they're really fun. So it's a great gift for your mom as well. And I'm playing in the Irish Cultural Centre as well on Mother's Day. And I'm going to be uh, playing with the amazing Ryan Murray vocalist and Katie Schmidt 
Kate Schmidt, um, beautiful, beautiful dancer. And I can't wait to be there, to be back at the Irish Cultural Centre again. And, you know, go to my website and go to my Instagram stories and, of course, all the platforms for the ticket link. And it is going to be a really fun day. It starts at 2.30 p.m. EST at the Irish Cultural Centre in Canton. And it is always such a great venue. And they have the most amazing food there. So lunch is being served beforehand and the food is incredible. And also, if you want to walk around the property as well, they have a beautiful Irish cottage that they demonstrate Irish cultural things like baking and music and dancing and they have everything going on there. So it's really worth a fantastic, you know, a visit and a great visit with your mom for Mother's Day. So I might see you there at 2.30 in the Irish Cultural Centre, May the 8th. So here we go. Here is my violin line. Hi everyone, I'm Mairead Nesbitt. I'm so proud to introduce you to my Celtic violin line. The violins in my Celtic violin collection are named after pieces from my album Hibernia and I can't wait to introduce the line to you all. Absolutely incredible. As you can see, it's just so stunning. Yay, Hillary. Y'all, I'm super excited about this fiddle and this bow from Marie Nesbitt's line of fiddles. This fiddle has completely changed the way I play. I've gotten so much better just in the past six weeks since I've been playing this fiddle. So this violin is my premium violin. It is called Hibernia from my solo album. As you can see, it's a very, very beautiful violin. How stunning is the wood there? It is a gorgeous, sweet and powerful sound. It really is complemented by these strings, Tomastic Peter Inkbelt strings. And they have a wonderful combination of power and sweetness. Very, very elegant, um, both the violin and the strings. The um, Holbert Bridge is um, a very deluxe version and also um, the Whitner tail piece as well. This instrument is a handcrafted instrument from Prague and it is very, very beautiful as you can see. This violin is called Celtic Dawn and it's also one of my uh, high-end premium models. I really love this violin, the way it's set up. It is very, very similar to my own violin that I play all the time. It is a very, very beautiful, warm, sweet tone, which is what I tend to prefer. The strings, of course, are Thomastic Peter Infield. Very, very beautiful strings, powerful and sweet, uh, both together. A great combination of power and elegance, which is something that you'll need as an advanced player. I also played this model uh, on my album Hibernia when I recorded it in Ireland. <laughs> If you like what you hear, I'm playing my new fiddle from Marie Nesbitt's shop. It sounds amazing and it's, I love it so much I can't quit. This is my reining up model from my Celtic violin collection. I love this violin. It has got a very warm, mellow tone, almost like a viola tone. I love that kind of tone. I'm very partial to that. The strings are Tomastic Dominant strings, of course, uh, made in Vienna, Austria. They really complement this violin because it is a very, very round, low tone, so it does need that clarity of sound from these strings to also carry it through. 
This is the second violin in my collection. It's called Invasion. I love this violin. It's got a fantastic thematic dominant strings this time, the Whitner Ultra Tape Piece. It's got a great bridge, uh, Ober Bridge. It's a deluxe bridge uh, made in France. Of course, the strings are made in Vienna, Austria. I named this violin Butterfly because I just felt it was a lovely name for the instrument itself. It's a, a youthful name, um, it just evokes flying around the place. It is a piece that I've played um, on stage for many years with Celtic Woman and also there's a version of it on my album Hibernia as well. So I just thought it was a very perfect name for this instrument. The strings, of course, are from Thomas de Kienfeld in uh, Vienna, in Austria. They are the fantastic new string from them called Alpha. So it's Alpha by Thomas de Kienfeld. This tailpiece is a, a Wittner a tailpiece, ultra tailpiece, uh, made in Germany also, uh, over a bridge. I love this violin, it's got a, a beautiful sound. It's powerful, it's clear, um, it's got a warm sound. They were fun, I tell you. They are just such beautiful instruments. They're all handmade. And also, the, some products weren't um, listed there. Uh, my Bell of Tipperary, my absolute beginner violin, is up now as well on the website. And my pink bow, my custom pink bow, of course, which is amazing as well. So do visit the website and have a look. And it is a lot of fun. So. I'm going to go back to Chloe, to chatting with Chloe. And this is a bit earlier on in the chat as well. But I just love listening um, to us chatting and hope you enjoy it. Oh, oh my God. This oh, so welcome, amazing. Chloe. Thank you so much. Look at you go, lady. I'm oh. literally sitting here having the best time watching you, <laughs> laughing, being like, who is my friend? Who is this person who's this little chat show host? Like, oh, look, you go. I'm I'm absolutely blown away by you right now, Marie Nesbitt. Oh, my God. Queen. You make it, oh, you make it so easy, though. You make it so oh easy. Oh, it's um, amazing. Oh, and what a show. Goodness. I'm so honored to be on <laughs> with all the Nesbits. Oh, my goodness. How lovely it was to hear wonderful Caroline talking about her process and just hearing her say it, it really is incredible thinking she's such an integral part of the team since, yeah. since really going back since the early days um, and just, you know, being such a key part in keeping the consistency of Celtic Woman's brand, you know, what it was for so many years. And she always managed to turn out really elegant graphics and it really represented, I think, the epitome of what Celtic Woman really was. So wonderful to hear her talk. And like, did you do it on purpose? Did you put Carl Nesbitt on this episode just on purpose for everybody who's watching now disclaimer i had the biggest crush i still do on carl nesbitt as a kid and marade knew she knew as so i was like did she do this on purpose well, well, Carl said big pie, and that's the closest i could oh get together God, to thank you <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my goodness good. and the comments are flooding in They're Chloe so tell us about being How about you I'm literally just that's so wonderful watching the video looking at all those lovely yeah. lovely comments coming in thank you hello to everyone who's watching thank you for all the love and the good vibes you know I have to say um watching it back you know I'm I'm, I'm really proud of it it's, it's it's something that I actually we shot it all together just me and a friend uh, my wonderful friend uh Eamon McChrystal in Los Angeles wow. and we got out together and I just called loads of people who I knew them all of the people in my life who meant something to me you know there was certain different things about each of them that I loved and that's what I want to represent in this video you know I was showing um Divya who I've been kind of coaching some songwriting and singing in, in, in the years she's in front of the beautiful yellow triangle wall yeah. 
Spencer uh, is a wonderful, wonderful guy who um, has autism, but music is the one thing that that he lives for. It's his greatest passion. My wonderful friend Hunter, who's a singer songwriter, he's in the video. So like my best friend Marissa and her twin sister. So I wanted to show represent all these different relationships you know it, things that you love about people it's why i wrote the song um for me i wrote the thing about you about ireland actually it was the yeah. one thing that i love about coming home it's the thing that keeps you know me who i am but i yeah. i wanted to write it for anybody who looks at their sister and thinks that who looks at their boyfriend and thinks that their girlfriend you know i wanted to represent all, all their guitar i wanted to represent all of the different things that people love in life you know so um I, and, and it's a fun little video i'm really really proud of it yeah it really is such a beautiful beautiful video and everyone and all the comments are pouring in Thank and guys you, guys. you know <laughs> you're so loved so so loved chloe and um you know you're so not only are you the most brilliant singer and I mean, you're a bit of a genius, really, because you're a brilliant <laughs> singer. And you're also, you 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 know, your your songs that you write are beautiful, Chloe. They really are. And I love your 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 new album. Oh my goodness! Well, yeah, imagined. I've been kind of doing some a lot of different stuff. You know, when I left Celtic Woman, I'm sure you you get it too. It's an opportunity to, to try different things in life. Yeah. And for me, I, you know, I hate feeling boxed in by one particular genre. I love to sing loads of different types of music. So when I came to writing music, I kind of wanted to write some upbeat pop songs, some stuff that I hadn't really yeah. done before in my career. So that's what the thing about you project was all about and then reimagined was going back to my roots was taking all of the irish songs that that i love that have that really mean something very special to me but just completely reimagining them in a whole new way and hearing them how i hear them in my head so you know my incredible clovers of the people who with my indiegogo project helped make that whole project happen and and you know for me it was such a liberating experience getting to go into the studio and produce this record, literally get to produce the things that I wanted to hear. Um, so I've actually been writing away. I have a second Indiegogo project that I had to record this year that is all original oh material. Yeah, but I'm actually, I'm, I've been really glad because I was obviously supposed to record it later this year because I was out on tour with Celtic Woman and a whole summer of stuff planned. But um, I'm really glad I, I haven't yet because this time in lockdown has been really amazing to, to start being really creative and thinking about music and what I want to hear in songs in a different way. So I've been writing a lot and really hoping that I can kind of get everything together, hopefully by the end of the year and, 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 and get into a studio and get it recorded. I so. mean, you're one busy lady, you know, we can't keep up with keep you. On, I mean, <laughs> gotta keep on keeping on, you know, it's, it's, it's a, you know how it is. It's, it's a totally different game when you're out on your own and it's, it's yes. a totally different slog. It's a different yes. hustle. Um, and you kind of just have to, to, to keep on keeping on, you know, um, but I'm, I'm really thankful. I think, you know, you, I mean, how inspiring for, for the, the whole time in your career, you've always, arranged you've written you've you know composed all of those Aww. things so for me this has been a great new turning point in my life and in, in, in the last kind of seven eight years of really feeling like it, i have a new connection with music because i'm writing my own stuff exactly. you know it's really cool how amazing is that i hope you enjoyed that chat everybody um we had such great fun and the comments are still coming in and you know, have and check out, of course, the dates for Celtic Woman, their tour, Postcards from Ireland tour. And you'll get to see Chloe there. And I know, Shilja, I see that you were at the concert there a few weeks ago, you were saying. So it's so great to see that. And, you know, it. thank you so much, everyone, too, for your lovely comments about Celtic spells and about the beautiful Ryan Murray's beautiful voice singing that amazing Skyboat song. It's one of my favorite songs because, and apart from that, it is one of my, always has been one of my favorite songs, but um, really Outlander is one of my favorite series is so on Netflix. So uh, we had to do that in Celtic spells as well. So I'm really excited for you to um, see and hear, see the show next year, and also to hear the album really soon, Celtic Spells. So keep an eye out for it, everyone. I'll keep you posted too. And uh, oh, Shildi, I miss seeing you perform, Raid. Well, you'll have to try and, uh, I, you're so amazing. You came to, um, to see me in Broadway 
Thank you, Shilji. It's just so great to see you here. And um, thank you for the lovely birthday messages as well. And it was just so great to see you in New York that time, um, all the way from, from Germany. So that was amazing. And hopefully you'll get over again sometime and that I'll get to see you again. And um, yeah, any chance you'll tour the US? Yes, we will be. There are dates booked already for 2023 for Celtic Spells. So keep an eye out for it and I'll keep you posted on all my socials. And yeah, Lisa is in great form. Has anyone heard from Lisa? Of course, Chloe and Lisa are besties and she's doing great and um, very, very successful school that she has. And hi to Lisa and saw me playing Lord of the Dance. My goodness, that was a long time ago, and that was so great. What a great show. Hi from New Zealand. Thanks, guys. It's so great to see you all here. And as well as you all know, Hilary Klug. What a great old-time fiddle player. She was there um, in my fiddle video playing. Uh, she has a custom Celtic Dawn fiddle herself, and she also has one of my custom pink bows so she plays them at her gigs and you know she is just incredible and um i'm so delighted that she's playing a celtic dawn fiddle from my shop from raidnesbit.com and hop on there and you'll see lots of stuff not just the violins there's lessons and there's music oh my goodness there's great deals on there as well and Oh, uh, thanks, Julia. Oh. <laughs> You're so good. If I was a violinist, I would definitely buy a violin from you. Thank you so much. And so I'm just going down through the comments. They're amazing. And it's so great to see you all, guys. And let's see. I have another clip. And now this clip is from my mother, Kathleen Nesbitt's Fiddle tutorial book. And it is a song called Oro She the Vahawalia. And I thought it would be a great um, thing to end the show, end Moraid Monday moments on today, because I'm playing on the viola. And you all love the viola. And I know you all love the sound of it. And you'll see my custom pink bow as well. I hope you enjoy this. And I'll see you next week. See you next Monday for more, more Maraid Monday moments. Have a brilliant week, everyone, and I'll see you then. Bye.